Okay, and we're back. Back on the pacifist run. Alright. Oh, that's cool. I like that it actually lets us skip. Very clever. Alright, so... <laughs> right back in it. Ooh, look, look at the ratings. Oh, I did it. I did it. Man, that was a... Ooh, that was long. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call in Milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me. Before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh. Hi, Metaton. I really like watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but... Seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life. Vicariously. I can't tell, but... I guess this is your last episode? I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh... No, wait, wait! But... Hey, they already hung up? I'll take another caller. Minuton, your show made us so happy. Minuton, I don't know what I'll watch about you. Minuton, there's a Minuton shape hole in my heart. Ah, I... I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left the underground, if I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best, anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power, and, well, I'll be alright. Knock em dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. I mean, Alphas could fix them, right? I don't want Metaton to die. Even though, oh, that's what he looks like in sprite form. I, I managed to open up the lock. Are you too? Oh my god. It's on. But it's on. Are you? His battery power ran out. I think. Thank God, it's just the batteries. But it's on. If you were gone, I would have. I would have. I mean, hey, it's no problem. You know, he's just a robot. If he messed it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? I just need a moment. It's out of batteries. No, this isn't right. Let me just... I can't go that way, so... So I guess that's the end of that. Can I go back in and console her? No, I can't. That's fine. So far, two recorded deaths thus far. Alphas? Sorry about that. Let's keep going. She's coming with me? Oh. So you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be... You must be... Pretty excited about all that, huh? Is she gonna do a heel turn on me? You'll finally... You'll finally get to go home. Hmm. Wait. I mean, um, I... I was just gonna, um, say goodbye and... I can't take this anymore. I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to get across the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. 
I'm sorry. What? Are you serious? There's... That means the pacifist run is undoable if I have to kill somebody at the end. That, that, there has to be another way. There has to be another way. It's a long way up. Am I going straight to him? Oof. Okay. There's got to be a save point, right? There it is. Oh, there's no determination message. Wow. I'm all out of save items, or healing items. I should head back. So I'm going to do this off camera. So by the time we get back, hopefully I'll have all my healing items intact. Unless there's a healing item place up here. But I'm not going to chance it in case it takes me straight to him. I'm paranoid like that. Okay, guys, and we're back. This really does seem like endgame. There's no music, no message of determination. It's time to see what awaits us up ahead. Hopefully I have been doing a true pacifist run. I really hope so. What's this elevator here? The elevator's in use. Okay. Look at all this. It's gray and black and white. And... Hmm. Okay. It's a very interesting layout of buildings here. In this void of darkness. This looks kind of familiar. Like the uh, starting area, but gray. Where we met Torale. Wait, new home. Interesting. Wait, this is Torale's place. But black and white. What the hell? What the heck? The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in the hallway. What the hell? It's a golden flower. Okay. Oh, presents. What are these? There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. You're carrying too much. Okay. I need a box to put some stuff in if there is one. It's a golden flower. More golden flowers. There's a key right there. Oh! A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. What the heck? You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Oh. I need... huh. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle. Champs 98. It's a burrow. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Hmm. Let's drop the mandana. Because I don't think there's going to be a box here, so I really need that uh, room under renovations. Let's get this heart-shaped locket. Let's see what it is. I'm pretty sure it might be armor. Heart locket. Armor defense 15. It says best friends forever. Let's put that on. Yeah, because that's better than what I have on right now. What's this one? There's a... Oh, I didn't see it. What did it say? There's a worn dagger inside the box. Nope. That's for violent people. We are not violent. What does it say? There are a lot of striped shirts in here. Huh? It's a twin size bed. Uh, what a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. This music, the theme, main theme. Dusty toys, what's the picture show? It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. Striped shirts, huh? Interesting. Let me say something else. Santa Claus up inside. And a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad. What? Okay, it's a closed drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. 
It's a king size bed. It's just a chair. So this seems to be Asgore's room. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages say it's a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Okay. Asgore's house. And it seems like... I'm going to guesstimate a human was once here. Oh. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. That's this is an interesting way of doing the story. It's forcing us to do those. Let's see. Seems like gardening tools. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. This is a golden flower too, huh? Yeah. Okay. The coals are still pretty warm. It's a great reading chair. But it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Alright. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Okay. I'm loving this so far. This is really cool. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Stovetop is very clean. Someone must fire you must use fire magic instead. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Okay, so we got all the keys. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. Don't mind if I do. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. So this is like Torrelay's stuff. Let's drop the stained apron. Let's see if we can get something. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Oh well. Can't eat those. Now gardening. All right, so let's open these locks. You unlock the chain. Okay, before we do that, save. I'm really paranoid. I this is there's an old calendar from the end of 21X. A date is circled on it. Okay. Oh. Then one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azriel. Racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. Uh oh. They thought that he had killed the. Oh no. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. 
The king and queen had lost two children in one night. Oh my god. The humans have once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will save us all. Will let us go. Will give us hope. This is some powerful stuff. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Oh. You're going to be free. What's down here? Save point. Nice. Okay. That was a nice little exposition that they did there. I like that. Alright. Let's see what awaits us at the end of this. But first, we're going to have to go ahead and take a break here. This next part could be the final part. Stay tuned, guys.